Hello, and welcome to Movie Magic Budgeting. Today we'll be learning how to install Movie Magic Budgeting on a Mac. In your internet browser, navigate to ep.com. On the left hand side, click on Products. Once the Products page appears, look for Budgeting. Click the available link. On the Movie Magic Budgeting product page, scroll down to the box that says Latest Version. Look for the installation file link that ends with For Mac. Click the link to start the download. You may need to establish the download location before the download begins. In this example, we will save the install file to the desktop by clicking on the Save button. Once the download is finished, navigate to the file location on your Mac. Double click on the file to start the installation process. The installation process will be in two phases. The first will install the program to your Mac. The second will activate the installation with your Movie Magic Budgeting license number. The installer pop-up will appear with the option to either install the application or view the README file. Some Mac settings may prevent you from installing an application downloaded outside of the Mac App Store. To bypass this, right-click or control-click on the installer and select Open. A warning may appear regarding files downloaded from the Internet. Click Open. The installer screen will display, listing the system requirements for the installation. Click Next. The License Agreement page will appear in a text box in the middle of the installer screen. Scroll down to read the License Agreement. Next to I accept the terms of the License Agreement, click the radio button, then click Next. The installer will ask the location in which the program will be installed, listing a default location. If you wish to choose a different location, click the Choose button. Otherwise, if the default location is OK, click Next. The installer will then present options for handling aliases, or shortcuts, for Movie Magic budgeting. By default, the installer will place an alias in the dock. If other aliases are desired, select the radio buttons next to each corresponding location. Conversely, if you do not wish to use aliases, the radio button next to Don't Create Aliases may be selected. Once all necessary selections have been made, click Next. The summary page will show all of the selections that were made in the previous screens. Confirm that all selections are accurate and click Next. The Enter Password page will appear. This screen will ask you to enter your Mac Administrator password. This is the same password that you would enter when logging into your Mac machine. Enter the password in the space provided and click Install. The Installing page will show you the status of the installation. Once finished, the installer will display the README file. Read the information provided and click Next. The final page in the installer will announce that the installation has completed successfully. To finish the first phase of the installation, click Done. A screen will appear asking to launch Movie Magic Budgeting. Click Yes. Once Movie Magic Budgeting opens, the Activation Wizard will ask you if you would like to purchase the software, or if you've already purchased the software, to activate your license. Click the Activate License button. Step 1 will ask you to enter the license number you were provided in the available space. Once finished, click Next. A screen will display asking you to use the current available activation. Click OK. Step 2 will ask for some basic user information. This screen may be pre-populated with information that was provided during the software purchase. If information is incorrect or missing, click to edit the available fields. Once finished, click Next. In Step 3, the preferred contact method can be established. 
Choose the manner in which you would like to be contacted with any important information on your software by using the available information fields and corresponding checkboxes. When done, click Finish. You have now successfully installed Movie Magic Budgeting on Mac. Thanks for watching.